What up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. It is a lovely day. Goose season here in Kansas starts in two days. And it only lasts for two days. I don't understand that. It's gonna be open the 27th and 28th, I believe, depending on what species you're hunting. I don't know. But check it out, we got the old trailer here. Oof, looking good. I cannot wait to get this bad. Look at Fred here, look at him. Just look at him. Oh, I can't wait to get it in the field though. Look at this side. Let's give her a good gander. We haven't looked at her for a little while. Oh yeah. And on the back, we got old Storm Girl. Oh yeah. So I've been getting the trailer ready. Just been fixing stuff, organizing stuff. Now that goose season's almost here in a couple days. Big duck season actually starts the same day and it just stays open all the way through December. So that's gonna be real nice. Be ready, y'all. We're gonna be hunting here at home, 10 miles away from the house, one mile away from the house. All those hunts, all those videos are getting ready to start, y'all. But you guys have shown a ton of support on the boat situation. That's what today's video is gonna be about. Jax, you all right? Hacking up a lung, bud? Good. Jax, yeah. Dude is over here just hacking. But the, uh, the boat, the boat, uh, I have a couple ideas. I think we can fix it today. That's what today's video is gonna be about. Uh, I screenshotted a lot of your guys' comments that I believe is gonna help this situation a ton. I, first off, first off, I gotta thank you all. Thank you for reaching out. Drop your comments down below and uh, helping me out trying to figure out this boat situation. But old Frederick, look at him, him a good boy. Yeah, him ready to go hunting. We will be this weekend, buddy. Real quick before we get started working on the boat, Tomorrow, being Thursday, being October 24th, Thursday the 24th through Saturday, will be a 48-hour sale of this custom ducks hat. We don't have very many of these bad boys available. That's why we're doing a limited run, limited sale, y'all. So if you guys want to pick one of these up, I'll go ahead and link it down in the description of this video in case you guys are watching this tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Just heads up. 48 hour sale on this bad boy right here. Starting tomorrow. So here we are, first off, uh, you guys had some good, good comments about this tank. This is an Atwood tank. Had a couple of you saying, hey Bob, I had the same tank on my boat. And unfortunately, it doesn't come with a vented cap, nor is the tank vented anywhere. And it makes perfect sense. Here's a fuel line coming from the motor. And this has good pressure. This bulb has really good pressure to it. And it is installed the right way. In fact, there were a couple of you that were like, Bobby, you need to replace the, the bulb. Bobby, uh, is your bulb backwards? No, it's the right flowing direction. And it is, in fact, brand new. I just bought it. So I can tell you right now uh, two ways to fix this deal. Number one issue, the tank is not venting. One of you guys mentioned, Bob, it's easy enough uh, for you just to go buy a new cap. They're not very expensive. So that's first up on the list to go find here in just a bit. We're gonna have to go to the automotive store. Uh, we really don't have a boat store. We might, we might, but it's not a big one. So we're gonna need a new cap. And then number two, I'm gonna go ahead and just put a three to five PSI little inline fuel pump on this bad boy. It needs it. Um, I think with the fuel pump on there and the vented cap, everything would be fixed. I wouldn't have an issue. Right now, um, I, I think maybe I could just loosen the cap and it might help. Let's test that. So test number one, I'm going to tighten up the fuel cap. I'm going to hand pump this up. Make sure she's pressurized. Oh yeah, she's tight. And then I'm gonna take off the fuel line right here after the filter and I'm gonna drain it into this little pell here and it should stop flowing because the tank is not vented. All right, let's get this pulled off of here. A Little bit of squirt. It's not really, nothing really coming out of there. Look at that. The whole fuel filter is full though. Huh. Well, I'm gonna go unscrew the cap and see if it helps. So now we're gonna leave the fuel line disconnected. Just unscrew that, pump this up. Oh, I can hear it. 
I can hear it spraying in there. Still not really coming out. Wonder if the motor pulls it at all. You know what I'm saying? One of you guys dropped a good comment though, and you were like, Bobby, you need to disconnect it from the motor and uh, vent the tank. It should just keep flowing. It's not really doing that though. Forget it. Now, yep, I'm just going to uh, go into town. I'm going to try to find a vented cap and a 3 to 5 psi inline fuel pump. I think that's the fix. So, just to recap what happened. With the fuel filter disconnected, when I would pump this, just like that, with the tank vented, this sucker, I mean, it just comes blasting out of this fuel filter. So, that means there's nothing in the line. It's not kinked. Um, the line should be good. One of you mentioned that this was the wrong fuel line. I don't know about that. I think one of the main problems is just the distance from the motor to the tank. Look at all the extra line we got here. It's just a lot of line, you know what I mean? So, vented cap, fuel pump. Let's see if we can get it done. Well, uh, leaving the house, I just uh, fired up the boat before we left here. Fired right up, primed it up, fired up. I nailed the throttle, let it run quite a long time, seeing uh, if it would die, you know, from consuming too much fuel or, or whatever the case may be. Never died, never sputtered, never did anything. I can remember, though, one of the 20 times <laughs> that it died on the marsh uh, during that hunt. I can remember Larry, he did leave the cap uh, loose so the, so the tank could breathe. So um, I know we tried that out there. Unfortunately today, I'm probably not gonna be able to take it out and rip it. Um, I'm hoping that I can find a fuel pump and a vented cap. If I can do those two things, I know that the boat will be fixed. I can pretty much trust it to run next time that we go out. It ran great as long as you were pumping the old hand primer, you know what I mean? So that just tells me, if I put a fuel pump on this thing and vent it, shouldn't have any issue. Oh yeah, buddy. At the local boat shop here, score a uh, vented gas cap. Uh, I didn't know what you guys were talking about. Now I know what you're talking about. Vented gas cap, see the deal in the middle? That's the vent, you unscrew it if you want it to vent. Mine don't have that, so. Hopefully that helps. Uh, they didn't have an inline electric fuel pump, but that is okay because a lot of you commented, you're like, Bob, just go to AutoZone or O'Reilly, somewhere like that, and buy your fuel pump. They're pretty cheap. So, uh, the fuel pump should be easy to come by. I'm not worried about that. It was this gas cap that I was actually worried about having a hard time finding. So, good day, boys, good day. And it was 15 bucks. Not too bad, right? All right, made it back to the house. Pretty sure we got everything we needed. First off though, this is uh, gonna be the first test, is does the fuel cap fit? Hopefully it's a universal jobber. Uh, moment of truth. Oh yeah, see this how it's supposed to work. Tighten her up, and then the top, loosen that bad boy up, and that's your vent, y'all. Yeah! yeah. Thank you, you guys. I never knew that. I'm not a boat guy. I'm kind of an ATV side-by-side uh, -side guy. That's what I've done my whole life is ride three-wheelers, dirt bikes, four-wheelers, side-by-sides, UTV, stuff like that. I'm just not a boat guy. But big shout out to you guys. I can be a boat guy overnight. Thanks for, uh, thanks for all your comments because I wouldn't even know that a gas cap with a pressure relief little breather deal didn't even know it existed. But here is our inline pump. That bad boy wasn't cheap. Edelbrock's the only brand I could find. <sighs> and Edelbrock's not very cheap. Let me tell you what. Well, I took about 30, 45 minutes, took my time, wired everything up, plumbed everything up. I think we're good to go here. So here's our fuel pump. I installed it in between our hand primer and the tank. It says that it needs to be one foot within the fuel tank. It says that these inline pumps are meant to push fuel, not pull fuel. So that's why it's so close to the tank. 
which I agree that should help. Here in a little bit, I will button up my wiring, get it in some wire loom, but let's test her out. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the fuel filter off again, and uh, I'm gonna turn on the pump, see if she works. Ready, three, two, one. Oh yeah, buddy. Nice. Hook this bad boy back up. There we go. Now she's gonna get constant fuel. Never gonna run out. Thank you guys for uh, your suggestions. Without it, I, I had a hunch that that was the problem. We got a lot of fuel line in between the fuel cell and the engine. So uh, that fuel pump, it was a little pricey. I think it was like 60 bucks for that bad boy. But it's gonna help it. This thing is gonna purr. Let's get her fired up. So right before fire up every time, I think I'll go ahead and prime her up. Man, she's tight. I really need this on a switch, but uh, really don't have a choice as of right now. I need to put the fuel pump on a switch. But we'll go ahead and connect the fuel pump. You can hear her fire up. She is purring. Fuel pump's on. Look at that. Didn't even have to give her any throttle, baby. Yeah. Running a lot better. Woo. We didn't have that type of throttle response before. I'm going to let it run here for a little bit and make sure it doesn't turn off on me or something crazy. Better check for some leaks, too. Looking good here. I can feel it running. We're up and running, baby. <laughs> we got her. Oh, disconnect this bad boy. This is the bad part right here. I need to get a switch. See? Need a switch. I think that's the last thing on the list for the old fuel pump issue is to install a switch. Woo! Well, I'm so happy I got that done. I have had an outpouring of help, not only from you guys down in the comments, but y'all sending me DMs on Instagram. Uh, my buddies reaching out, like Mike, Ross, some of my other hunting buddies. Hey, do you need help with the boat? This is what I think's wrong. I appreciate all your guys' support. It's so nice. Not knowing what I'm doing sometimes, asking you guys for help, and you guys always coming through. Thank you so much. But the old trailer, I have not opened this thing up in quite some time. Oh, it's still looking rather decent, a little messy. Got to get the clay thrower out of here. Got to get the snow goose e collar out of here. But everything else doesn't look too bad. Got to get the full body snow goose decoys out of here. Got to get the snow goose socks out of here. And I gotta get all my dive bomb silhouettes and socks in here. All my Canada goose decoys, basically. Uh, if you guys want to see a trailer update video, I gotta mount a light bar or two on the side of this bad boy. I gotta organize this bad boy. I gotta get all my new goodies out of the shop into the trailer. If you guys want to see that video, drop a comment down below. Let me know. Um, if there's anything else that you guys think I should do with the boat, drop a comment down below and let me know as well. But again, thank you guys so much. Uh, without you guys, the channel would not be rocking and rolling. Uh, the waterfowl season's here. Got the trailer ready. Look at that. We got to look one more time. Look at her. She's ready to be out in the field. This trailer has not been in the field one time with the new wrap on it. People haven't got to see it. You know what I mean? So the season's here. I'm ramping up. I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. I hope you guys have already got out on some good hunts. Good luck to you all this fall. Goose season, duck season uh, is about ready just to start and not stop. Only a couple days away, y'all. But subscribe if you haven't. We're coming at y'all with, with four or five videos a week. If you guys like these daily uploads, let me know below. And the hat goes up for sale tomorrow. Limited edition ducks hat. Available only 48 hours, y'all. But until next time. Beep.